All right, everybody, it's been a while since I posted my original review of the MTL attachments 60 inch grapple. So I figured I'd come back, try to do a little bit of an update after I've used it for a little while. And I just wanted to point out a few other issues that I've captured and try and what well, really had to mitigate. So the primary issue that I found was uh, this hose attachment here, this where this hose bends, as I suspected, and conveyed in my original video, I've noticed that whenever the lid or the grapple lid opens and closes, especially in the up position, it tends to suck these hoses up and uh, more or less just pull them straight up and then that tends to make these hoses rub against this sharp surface right here and eventually they were just going to wear through and I knew I'd be out there and it would just explode and I'd have hydraulic fluid spraying everywhere, which is pleasant every day, right? So, well, not really. So what I did is I just took some uh, poly reinforced or reinforced poly tubing, split it in half, and more or less just shoved it in there. I forget exactly what size that was. I think that's inch and a half tubing, but really any, any will work, just as long as it covers both the hoses and stays in there. So that's just compression fitted in there. It's not really attached any other way. Uh, the pressure from the hoses and everything else just keeps it in place. And, you know, it seems to be doing a fair job. I've noticed that whenever the hoses uh, grapple lid opens and closes now, the tubing or the hydraulic hoses will just hit up against this and that'll offer a buffer to the uh, hydraulic hoses and Hopefully they won't burst on me or last a little bit longer. Now, what I plan on doing, if these, when these hoses go, and, you know, just like everything, it wears out. So whenever that happens, I'll probably get some custom hoses made and put some 90s right here. And that way you avoid or mitigate this whole issue altogether. Probably should have come that way from the factory. Hint, hint, MTL. But, yeah, these things were thousand dollars and I'm sure they made them as cheaply as they possibly could get away with and this is one of those cost cutting measures whatever so anyway just get you some 90s when those wear out if you don't do this they'll wear out real quick and you can get an upgrade right so whatever the other thing that I did uh, or noticed that we're having challenges with was cable management or hose management so what I did is I, I tried to overthink it and look for some type of cool daddy gee whiz thing to uh, manage the hoses and really didn't find anything. And the things that I did find were extraordinarily, well, they just wouldn't work on, on this grapple. So I had some smart people that I consulted with on the forum and they recommended just using a simple bungee. So I went out and got me an expensive bungee I don't know that it's really necessary, but I guess it makes me feel better to have a more expensive bungee. Whatever. But the way I attach it to the hoses, I just got a little hose clamp and took the, obviously took the other end off of here. And, or the, you know, this end has a little S hook in there just like the other end does, or did have. So I took that out, obviously, and put this hose clamp around there and tightened it down. Just compression fitted against the hoses and it's worked extraordinarily well. I mean, I really couldn't ask for it to work any better. This, uh, I think, is a 32-inch bungee, and it is plenty long enough, it stretches long enough, for me to attach it to, uh, I think there's a, I forget exactly what I attach it to on my loader frame, but uh, it bends enough, or stretches enough, to where I'm not afraid about it ripping anything off, or doing anything on towards to the tractor or to the grapple and it works pretty well so don't go looking for an expensive solution to a problem that really doesn't exist I guess is what I'm saying and, and the other thing that I noticed was you know as I suspected originally the paint is going to come off and it tends to come off faster in locations where you get gets the most action so Notice this is the inside of the grapple lid on the uh, left hand grapple, I guess. And on the outside, you know, there's not so much paint uh, knocked off. But on the inside, I don't know if you can really make that out in the camera, but the paint is wore off pretty well. If 
even more so on this side here. You can actually see it flaking a little bit there and not so much on the outside edge. So as I suspected, the paint's coming off and you know the grapple is dirty. You can tell there's sand all over the thing from where I've been digging in the dirt a little bit here and there. If anything, you know, I guess the sand helps keep the grapple nice and shiny from wearing down the rust a little bit. Whatever. So the other thing that I noticed was it's challenging to hook this thing up. And I think I remarked that in my original video as well. And that's primarily due to the angle that this thing sits on the ground. So trying to get this thing hooked up on the ground is like terrible. So what I wound up doing, and I think I might have mentioned this as well, is I just took some boards and set it up underneath the front here. And that changes the angle enough for me to get a good bite on it with my quick attach and makes it a lot easier to get off or get on the tractor. So you notice I have, have it sitting here on a pallet and that's because I don't like my stuff sitting on the ground and pallets are relatively cheap. This one blows away or you know it'll ride out eventually. I'll just replace it with another pallet that uh, my neighbor gets uh, some bulk materials in and he throws them on his burn pile and I'm kind enough to take them off of his hands, I guess. So anyway, it, this works extraordinarily well. And I'd recommend that you guys do this as well. If you're having trouble hooking these things up, which I imagine everybody does just because of the angle, this works pretty well to keep it at a good angle. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention is if you're having trouble getting this thing lined up on your, on your loader, well, on mine anyway, I've noticed that the outside of the quick attach loader uh, lines up exactly with this thing right here. I don't know if this is tong or this, you know, the bracket or whatever this is, but the outside edge of my quick attach loader uh, will line up exactly with this. And even though I have a camera to look down and see where this thing is when I'm trying to hook it up, uh, this visual reference from the cab is still easier than looking at the camera. You know, the little seven inch monitor that I got to um, hook up in the cab so I can see these things. So anyway, I, I just look for a common reference and on this loader, I know that my, my out, the outside, or actually this is the inside of the quick attach plate, I don't know what you call the thing, will line up exactly with this here. And that makes it a lot easier to hook up. So anyway, that's all I got. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to shoot them, shoot them to me, and uh, I'll try to answer them best I can. Help.